Yo, how's everybody doing today? It's your boy Aaron Boy, and I'm back with another fanboy Aaron review. And this time, I'm going to be taking a look at some third party accessories for the Studio Series Leader Class Shockwave. Now, I already reviewed this guy, I will put a link to that video in the description. Here's what I'm going to be looking at today, though a replacement for his arm blade. And uh, uh, before, and uh, bleh, I'm sorry, English. A replacement for his arm blade and a replacement for his cannon. Now I will point out that both of these are made by the same uh, people. It's the Shockwaves Lab. I don't know if they have a website. <clears throat> I do know most of what they sell can be found on eBay, which is where I pick these things up. And it's made of a high quality 3D printed plastic. First, we'll take a look at the arm blade replacement. It's done in a nice silver and black with some Cybertronian hieroglyphs on the blade there. I do like that. And again, 3D printed plastic. Pretty high quality though. And it works the same as this arm blade. The only difference is it's not made of crap. 5mm port. Hull. It just plugs right in. Just like that. And he looks way better with that one. If I do say so myself. I, it would have been nice if they included just a little bit of the purple he has, but, you know. Still, leaps and bounds better than the old one. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. <clears throat> now we go on to the cannon. And I would show off the packaging these things come in, but it's pretty, uh, pretty basic, uh, generic little packaging. Nothing too special. Huh. That's odd. Okay, well, um... Here's what the other one is. It's a blaster part. You get this, uh... The tip for the cannon. Also done in 3D plastic painted black. This, uh, middle section. Uh, little and this little light gimmick which plugs in. Um, I believe it was also supposed to come with some batteries, but I did not see them in the box. So either they made a mistake with me, or I ordered a version that didn't come with batteries for the thing. But I know what kind of batteries they use. I think it's a LR4 watch batteries. I think I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to look at, I'll have to watch a video of someone else who reviewed it to make sure. And the way, uh, the way this one attaches is, uh, we have to disassemble his arm a little bit. And, uh, I will let you all know right now, there is a little post inside the cannon right around here. You do have to break in order to open it up and swap out these parts for the rubber one, or with the rubber one. It's nothing crucial, it's nothing too big, I'm just... Pointing that out. You just you gotta unscrew his arm right here and at the elbow. Very, very simple. Yeah, very, very simple. Oh crap, I do not want to lose that. Uh, uh, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? Shit, shit, shit. Where'd I put it? Alright, it's okay, I found it. Yeah, the screws are small, so, you know, try not to lose them. Alright, this one's a little tighter than the other one. Hey, it's understandable. It's supporting a large ass cannon. I just uh, lighting there a little bit. See what I'm doing a little better. There we go. Put that aside. Let me just 
open up the arm cannon. Again, there's a little post right in here you have to break in order to open it up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. Okay. Come on. Come off there. I'm trying to snap that post without breaking the whole damn arm. That might be the hard part. All right, there we go. Ah, I didn't actually break the post. I just broke the glue holding it together. That's good. And uh, as you saw, this part was just swiveled right in there. You just pull that out. Then what you want to do is you want to take this piece, right? Get the camera to focus so you can see what I'm doing. You want to take this piece. Make sure the hole is facing out. And you work that little tab into that hole. I do believe I'm doing that right. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Now we just gotta screw his arm back together. Take uh, this long peg here and slip it into that hole to help everything hold together correctly. Come on, there we go. There's screws. There's a screw. Just uh, slip that in there. Shit. <laughs> Do I have it all closed up right? Yeah, I do. Okay. Don't want to lose those screws. Make sure you pay attention when you're doing it, guys. It could, you might accidentally break something or lose one of these screws, which you do not want to do. You, oh, God damn it. Hold, damn you. Alright, there we go. Just screw that back together. Nice and tight. There we go. And now we just screw this part back in. That one's a little easier because there's a little hole holding the thing in place. There we go, nice and tight. And there we got the base for the cannon installed into his cannon. Get the camera to focus a little bit. Alright, the next thing you want to do is you want to take these two parts. Now, typically you'd want to put the batteries in, but for some reason, mine didn't have the batteries with it. Either I accidentally threw them out when I threw out the box, or they weren't in there to begin with. I think I would have seen them. Right, well, you want to take this part, you'll notice there's uh, three little, uh, little grooves or whatever. You want to make sure that the switch is going toward the longest groove. Or going through the longest groove. Yeah, make sure that's in. And you'll notice on the barrel, again, there's these three little notches that are meant to line up with these little grooves. So you line it up. There you just... You just line it up, and then you... Uh, I want to make sure I'm doing it right. I don't want to accidentally break the thing. Okay, it only rotates one way. You just line it up and you turn it, and that'll lock it into place. And there you go. 
you have the cannon all hooked up. And if there were batteries in it, you just have to flip this switch and activate a light feature. Unfortunately, my batteries were not with this freaking thing, so I'm probably going to have to hunt down some batteries to show that off properly, but that's the idea. The replacement cannon is supposed to light up. And now, you don't have to use these crappy rubber ones. I'm just going to stick these in a drunk drawer and display them with these. I'll probably try to hunt down a silver sharpie and uh, paint the spikes on the end of this gun barrel just to give it a little more color. Yeah, that's my main complaint. I wish these two accessories had a little more color, but other than that, they really, really improve this figure. Removing some of the very annoying rubber bits with something that's actually nice to handle. And if you find batteries for this thing, or if they actually remember them, it really makes a good display piece and makes some good fo photos. <clears throat> so there we go. There we have the Shockwave Lab 3D printed weapon accessories for Studio Series Shockwave. Now, if you enjoyed this review, hit that like button, leave a nice comment, and enjoy the rest of your day. And I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye.